Hey everyone, I'm Natalie Minnick. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome back. If you've been here before, thanks so much for coming back and watching. Today, I am actually doing a cleaning video of my current house. So if you've been following along, I am moving um, and we have really been spending quite a bit of time at our new house. A uh, little quick recap, we are buying my mother-in-law's house. She was away for a little bit. So we went in and we're painting um, some of the bedrooms upstairs and building a play set and a sandbox and all that stuff. So those videos, some of them are out and some of them are still coming. But this house has been, our current house has just kind of, you know, got pushed to the back burner and it is just a complete disaster, a complete mess. So I'm going to take some time and clean up this living room and organize some clothes, get some laundry done and all that fun jazz. So I am going to jump right in. So first off, whenever I'm cleaning our living room, I always fold our laundry in the living room. So there's baskets always in our living room. Um, so when I'm cleaning up, I like to fold all the laundry first and uh, get that out of the way so I can bring the basket upstairs so I can put that away. Or I put the baskets right onto the stairs and see if my husband can bring them up. So um, either way, I like to get that all folded and put that away. Now, when I do laundry, I definitely try to do my husband and my wash and then the kids wash just so that when I'm folding it, it's just like easier to put it in designated bins. Everyone has, not bins, laundry baskets. Everyone has their own laundry basket. And um, when I do a big mismatch of laundry, I... Um, I just throw it all in one bin, but I kind of like when I do it separately just because I can bring that basket to that person's room and I can get that put away instead of like going upstairs and going through the whole bin and figuring out what room it goes to. So I do like having an individual basket per each, each person of the household. And then I also have a basket usually for like towels and bed sheets and all that too. Next up, I have been going through my kids' clothes. So my youngest son moved up a size. So I've been trying to go through and get all the 2T, get out of here and packed up for storage. And, um, you know, he's been wearing some, so there's still some 2T in the laundry. So I just have the box um, opened up in his room just so I can still throw things in. And while I was doing laundry, I was like, oh yeah, I got to go through all the jackets. So I had quite a few of, uh, springtime jackets in here and winter jackets that I needed to organize and go through to bring upstairs to pack away for storage. I must say I'm so grateful for our community because I got quite a few, clothes, um, like hand-me-down clothes, um, up until like 40-ish um, that I'm able to use for both of my kids. So I know that all these clothes have been through at least three kids, um, my two kids, and then whoever I got them from. And who knows, maybe they went through a couple kids before us too. But I just like to know that these clothes don't really go to waste. So now that they're getting older, they definitely, you know, get more holes because they're being rough and they're outside and whatever but you know the baby clothes they usually unless you know you got some stains on there you know they hold up pretty well so anyways I do like that we can share and um reuse quite a few of these clothing so and I will be giving these clothing away after we want another baby hopefully after the move and we get settled in um, but I want to keep everything just because we don't know what gender it's going to be yet. So I don't want to get rid of all my boy clothes until we know for sure. Anyways, I went through all the jackets and I'm bringing that upstairs. I'm going to start working on our couch here. My whole plan for this living room was to vacuum the couches. I wasn't going to wash cushions today, but if you want to see a good, um, couch cleaning with cushions, definitely check out my video. I have one up. Um, I'll try to link it in the description box below. But anyways, I just wanted to vacuum out the couches here. And then my whole plan was to move the couches and organize and really give everything a deep cleaning. But 
my kids really needed some attention, so I did not get that far. I did vacuum the couches. I did get that straightened up and got dusted, vacuumed, um, and wiped down, but I didn't, unfortunately, get to move all the couches. But that's okay. That's life with my kiddos, and I much rather give them the time than be cleaning. So I feel like that's another reason why, you know, my house has definitely been more on the back burner just because I'm trying to spend that time with my kids. But of course, we still gotta get cleaning and get this house clean. So here I am, I put a show on for the kiddos, gave them lots of snacks, and I'm chugging away here and getting this house cleaned up. So I just vacuumed the couch. I am rotating the cushions around. I like to change sides and, um, you know, what way they're facing, the back cushions facing, just Mommy. so they don't slug down too much. Um, and we can keep them Mommy, as this. upright as I can. Now, I had these pillows for quite a few years now. I believe I got them from like Home Goods, and they have really held up. Like, they still have lots of feathers in there. They're still nice and plush, and they just really are nice pillows, the white ones there. So, I think I, like I said, I think I got them from like Home Goods or something. Um, now, the white pillowcases of the pillows where my doggie's sitting right there, those are the pillows that came with the couch. They're not, you know, they're definitely starting to show their wear and tear. Um, I've washed them a couple times, um, trying to fluff them up. It works for a couple weeks, and then they kind of just go right back to, you know, the, the old self. So, um, I definitely recommend getting a nice feather down, uh, pillow, even like the dark blue pillows I have here. I'm changing out the pillowcases. Um, they are really nice, um, pillows where you can fluff up, um, and it really holds their shape, which is really nice. So whenever you're looking at pillows, my suggestion to you is getting the feather down pillows and I will link the ones that I have. Um, but like I said, as long as you're looking out for feather down, you're going to be good because you're going to be able to um, fluff them up and have them standing up and looking full. So like I said, my living room has been a mess. There is so much trash, as you can see on our little coffee table here, all the water bottles, all the trash. There's just, it's ridiculous. And then my kids were eating pirate booty, which if you ever had pirate booty, ugh, I am not a fan of how messy it is. It's really good. The kids love it, but the mess that comes with it is just like I don't want to have pirate booty <laughs> but anyways um so yeah so that's like another thing and I was like you know what I'm cleaning right now so you guys can eat pirate booty in the living room because because I'm cleaning so here you go <laughs> I didn't clean and wipe that down yet so you can eat that anyways so yeah I just couldn't believe how much trash we have have accumulated in our living room here my other tip is when you have so many toys around your playroom or your living room, whatever room throughout your whole house, take a laundry basket with you. Throw everything in the laundry basket while you're going around picking it up. It makes it so much easier instead of picking one thing up, trying to carry a couple things or picking one thing up, putting it away, going and getting another thing, putting it away. It just saves you so much more time if you grab a laundry basket or a box or a bin that you have laying around or even a toy bin, um, collecting it all in there and then you can organize it into its correct home. It just makes it for an easier cleanup, having it all in one place instead of having to go back and forth or trying to pick things up and carrying it in your hand. So I went through quite a few of the kids' toys already and have put them out for the yard sale. I'm collecting everything in my sunroom, um, which if you recently seen my sunroom clean out, I made that sunroom look so good and it is an absolutely disaster. I mean, I'll have to add a picture in here because I am shocked how I spent so many hours cleaning that thing and it's an absolute mess again. 
Here is a picture of the sunroom. Anyways, a lot of that, again, I'm going through things and I'm going to put that out for a yard sale or throw out or donate or whatever. Um, but still, it's just like shocking to see how it just fills up so fast. So anyways, back to it. So I was going through and trying to organize the kids' toys to see if I can get rid of more things. But it was one of those things where like the kids were just really involved with what I was doing and seeing what I was doing. And they just wanted to play with everything that I pulled aside that I thought I can get rid of or donate or put in a yard sale. They wanted to play with it all. So it didn't really work out too well because it all got put back into its original home. So um, we'll see. I do, like I said before, like I never want to get rid of toys if they're really are playing with it but we just have a lot of toys so I'm like we got to go through some of this stuff so um we'll see we'll see if I can but if they're really playing with it then I don't want to take it away all right so I had dark blue cushion pillow cover slips on um for January February March um and then in April usually I like to switch it up to something more springy so I have this light blue that I'm gonna add and actually I ended up getting light blue because one I just really like the color and just like how bright it feels but also because when we first moved in our curtains were like a rustic orange um, which we were like, we need a change. And the first color that Matt and I could agree on was these blue, like these baby blue curtains, like these light curtains, not baby blue, but you know, lighter curtains. So ever since then, and then we painted, um, our front door, the inside of our front door blue. And so I feel like that's like our color. So, um, he wanted like when we first did our backsplash in our kitchen, uh, we did blue. So I feel like that light blue is like our color. So anyways, so that's why I ended up getting these light blue for, um, our spring color pillows. Anyways, I'm rambling back to it. I, um, trying to get this couch clean too. And I, again, like really wanted to get underneath this couch and really clean it and move it. I just didn't have the time and just seeing what all was under these cushions and what all I was pulling out from under the couch was just, Oh my goodness. I just don't even want to know what it is once we do move it. But I usually have a blanket. So I got a few, um, a couple years ago, I was like on the mission to find something to stop toys from rolling under the couch. And ever, I probably purchased, I don't know, five items, five, six different things. And nothing was working. Nothing was sticking to the couch. Nothing was sticking to the carpet. The carpet kept slip. Anyways, it wasn't working. So the best solution I found to stop toys from going under the couch was rolling up a blanket and just having it there as a barrier. Like I did um, a dark blue or not dark blue, a dark brown blanket. And then I also have um, like a white towel that I was using um, on the other one. So... It was just something to stop the toys from rolling completely under the couch. It works amazingly, except when it gets pulled out and you never put it back in place. So, um, a lot of, so the blankets like pushed to the side and now there's a bunch of toys under the couch. So anyways, again, that's going to get done another day. And you'll see here that my kids are just really starting to seek attention. They are starting to get a little wound up. So I did a quick dusting and then I was like, all right, you know what? I'm going to stop. I'm going to finish this cleaning another day because my babies really needed some attention. So here I am today. I am finishing up dusting. I had to put some toys away, fold up some blankets again. Um, but I just wanted to finish up this clean. I want to get everything thing dusted and I really still needed to get a good vacuum done um, of our living room because I changed the pillow covers and fe feathers just got everywhere so I really needed to give that a good vacuum and plus with all the crumbs so um, 
So it was nice to be able to get that done today and get this house nice and clean. I like to take my Swiffer duster here and, um, you know, I can go, I like that it extends, which is really nice. Um, so I can get around my ceiling edges. I can get around my baseboards without like bending over 50,000 times. Um, I can get, you know, fans cause it like does all different angles and stuff. So I really like this duster. Highly recommend this duster. Anyways, so I'm going to go around, dust everything, and then I'm going to just wipe everything down for fingerprints. Uh, just a quick wipe down. Again, I'm just trying to quickly get this done now. Um, because we have a busy day today as well, but I really wanted to get this video done and video out to you guys. And complete honesty, like I really don't know when else I could finish this clean before my youngest wakes up. So I'm like, let me get this done and <laughs> feel like I accomplished something in this house. So um, <laughs> I just feel like it's like rush on time all the time, um, especially with moving. I mean, I felt like that all the time, but now with moving, I'm like, when am I going to finish packing? When am I going to, what do I pack next? Because I feel like I need everything still and I'm not moving for another two months. But it's just like, I don't know. It's just, it gets overwhelming. But it is nice to look around and be like, all right, I got this clean. This gives me a little zen and peace and my anxiety level is going down and it feels good because while I'm cleaning, I can think of things and I can like slow my brain down a little bit and be like, all right, what's the next thing I can do? You know, instead of being like, I need to do laundry and I need to clean the bed sheets and I need to go grocery shopping and plan dinners. And it's like, okay, take a deep breath. And what's the next thing I can do? Next thing I'm going to do right now is finish dusting, vacuuming. And then we have my son's baseball game tonight and I have to cook dinner. That's the last thing I need to do today. That's all I can do today. So like, it's nice when I clean because I can like slow my brain down and like help myself figure out what I actually realistically can do so that is another thing of why I enjoy cleaning because it really gives me that time to help slow myself down and not you know give myself a chance to figure out what I can do that day while I finish up vacuuming, I just want to share some of the next videos that I have coming out. I got a great collab with a company for um, painting. Um, Wagner sent me one of their painting supplies that I'm really excited to share with you guys and give you guys my honest review on. That will be coming up in a video. And then I also, my husband, I built a sandbox for the kids. So if you watched my video before with building a play set for them, um, I really want to have a sandbox for them. And that ended up being, it ended up tripling our budget because I... I even marked it out on the ground and it really didn't look that big, but this thing is massive. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys that video. I'm getting that video together. Um, and I just have some, you know, some packing videos. Um, yeah, just kind of living with us while we're moving, still cleaning, getting things ready for the new house. Um, I'm just kind of taking you guys along with me, but definitely leave comments below what you like, what videos do you like seeing from me, um, because I definitely want to gear it towards that, but also I need to you know, just share with you guys what's going on in our life and what we're doing. And that's kind of the content that I have right now. Um, but I also would love to incorporate as much of the videos you guys like as well. So please leave me a comment on what you guys like seeing. And here is everything I vacuumed from our living room. I started off with an empty tank here. So that is just from our living room. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you all got lots of cleaning motivation and to tackle down those tough projects or even, you know, just like me, just trying to get that living room 
cleaned up and straightened up and organized and let me tell you my kiddo is already playing you will see here all the superheroes are pulled out he's lining them up and this living room is going to be a mess in no time but that's the whole point of cleaning right and having kids letting them explore and have fun with their toys so i really don't mind as long as i can get my clean after shot real quick before he messes up this living room Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for next week's video. It'll be either the sandbox or the painting video. I'm excited to share that with y'all. But yeah, leave me a comment and let me know what all you guys would like to see more of or if you guys are enjoying the come along with me with my moving series. All right, until next time, see y'all.